Logan is directed by James Mangold and stars Hugh Jackman as Logan. And this movie is far further in the timeline than any of the other recent X-Men movies. This one takes place all the way in the year 2029. And Logan is an old man at this point. He is not exactly as fit. He His claws don't come out all the way. His regenerating skin is just not as fast as it used to be. The bullets do not come out as easy as before. And... He still has to, though, function as the Wolverine, even though he doesn't want to be that guy anymore. Last year, we had Deadpool, which was through the first R-rated movie that was successful in the superhero genre. So, Logan got the R-rated treatment, and I think that this movie does a lot with its R-rating, especially in the action category. Yes, the characters do cuss a lot in this movie. But I don't think that it really does a lot in terms of dramatic aspects, in terms of its R rating. But for its action scenes, it gets everything out of its R rating. Imagine John Wick, but with metal claws. James Mangold directed the 2013 movie, The Wolverine. And I liked that movie. It was decent. I think that it wasn't very well paced. And I do think that... This film is a lot better. They pace this movie a lot better. Things actually feel like they're unfolding, which doesn't really feel that way in The Wolverine. And I think that Hugh Jackman maybe gives his best performance as The Wolverine in this movie. That's hard to say. He's been in so many of them. He's so great. But this is kind of like an actory performance. Playing a character who's dying, a character who's growing old, has to adjust to being older, doesn't want to be in this old life, but is dragged back into it. And I think that it really gives Hugh Jackman a palette to act with in that he hasn't really got to do before in these movies. My only real complaint with the directing is there was a little bit of shaky cam in a couple of scenes that just didn't really work for me. Like, if you're going to be R-rated, just go out, out with it. And for the most part, they do. But there is, especially the opening scene, has a lot of shaky cam to the point where it's a little annoying. But I do think overall that this film is very consistent, which I also felt was a shortcoming of the Wolverine. I think that tonally this film is very serious, is very kind of almost remorseful, kind of very sad, very depressing. And I think that gives this movie a very adult feel, which is why I think some people are hyping it up a little bit too much. I think the hype around this movie is a little inflated. I don't think this is an amazing movie. It's certainly a great movie, but I don't think this is the best superhero movie ever. It certainly is in the top maybe 10 of all time. This is a very, 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 very good film. But... I think that it really misses the emotional arc it's going for. And it comes close. But by the end of the film, I really wasn't that emotional. I felt a little indifferent. Not because what was happening was bad. In fact, it was very well done. But I wasn't crying. I wasn't emotional. So, in a way, the movie kind of failed at what it was going for. But this is a very well-crafted well shot, well acted film. There's also a very serious problem with the production design of this movie, and that's the fact that this takes place in 2029, but the technology is 2017 level technology, and some people seem to think this isn't a big deal, but it is a big deal because you're making a movie that does feel more mature, that does feel more well thought out. This isn't just a pop this isn't just a popcorn film. And when you make a movie that is just a little bit more than that kind of popcorn experience, you really should flesh out your ideas. And when you have a movie that's set in 2029, it doesn't really make sense for things to look like 2017. There's an iPhone that someone picks up at one point in this movie, and it looks like my iPhone. It doesn't even look like 
an iPhone that would exist in 2029. There's like an iPhone coming out every single year, practically, right now. And the fact that they just look the same is just bad production design. And there's really no reason why this movie needs to take place in 2029. It could have easily taken place in 2017, and nothing would have changed. Overall, though, this movie is a resounding success. All of the leads do a very good job in this movie. The villain in this film is very effective and creepy right from the beginning. I think that overall this is one of the best X-Men movies we have gotten, especially right after X-Men Apocalypse, was like, which was a complete turd. This movie is well worth your money, well worth your time, and I'm going to give it an A. That's enough for what I think. What do you all think of Logan? Comment below. Like this video if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel for more great movie reviews. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.